Hi First Kids, welcome to worship today. I'm so glad that we get to worship together. Today is an amazing day as we're going to celebrate the amazing birth of Jesus. How awesome is that? But before we dig in deeper, let's all stand up and worship. celebrating a huge celebration, and that is the birth of Jesus. So, we've already learned that God sent Jesus into a chosen family, just as he promised. And today we will celebrate Jesus' birth together. Jesus was more than a special baby. He was God in the flesh. That means he became human. Can you imagine that? 
Jesus was completely God and completely human, all at the same time. How awesome is that? So now, kids, let's all get ready to dig a little deeper and explore the Bible on location. When the future king of a nation is born, like in England, the whole nation prepares for the baby's arrival. Everyone anticipates the soon-to-be king's birth. Once the royal baby is born, he's taken to a beautiful nursery with the nicest bed to sleep in. Oh, hey guys. I mean, wow! If that's the kind of welcome that a royal baby gets, I wonder what kind of place that Jesus, the king of all kings, was born. That's what we're gonna find out today. We're gonna go to different nativity scenes and see what it was like when Jesus was born. I'm Joel, this is Explore the Bible on Location, and I'm gonna have to get back real soon to decorate this tree, otherwise my grandma Ding Bang will do all the ornaments without me. I called up a few of my friends, and I asked them if I could borrow their nativity scenes. That way, I thought we could maybe get a closer look at the culture or context that Jesus was born into. So we've got our first one here, and it's pretty cool looking. Looks like it's made of marble, or maybe marshmallow. It is cool, but I'm a little confused. First of all, where's the palace? The castle? Where's the drawbridge? For a king, Jesus is the king of kings. And what are the animals doing in here? You can't have animals in a nursery. I, I, I'm just a little bit confused. And what's this thing that Jesus is laying in? That's not a crib, that's something different. I've never seen anything like that before. So maybe this is just an artistic representation of what it might have been like. Let's move on to the next nativity scene right now. All right, let's check this one out. First of all, I like that it's in color, okay? Okay, now I like this. See this thing, and this thing, and this thing? Those kind of look like crowns. That sort of reminds me of royalty. Look at the animals, okay? Again, with the animals. And, and then look, 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 look. Jesus is, is still in the odd thing that's not a cozy crib. Like, where's the cozy crib? Palace, castle, cozy crib. <laughs> okay, I've got another one. Let's take a look. All right, now this is pretty cool. At least it's got some kind of structure. It's not just out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of like a castle, except it's made of wood, which is more like a barn. But this is awesome. It's got the star. That makes me think of like a king. It's majestic. But again, baby Jesus, he, he's, he's in this thing. It doesn't look like a crib. And is that hay or straw? Isn't that what animals eat? And look, more animals. You're not supposed to have animals next to a newborn baby. I mean, it's pretty, but, but is this really the kind of place where a king would be born? Royal babies are born in clean and amazing hospitals and then raised in beautiful palaces or royal homes. Even lots of kids you know were born in a clean, safe hospital. Jesus, our Savior and Lord, was born in Bethlehem but his birth was not like what people expected. When it was time for Mary to give birth to Jesus, she and Joseph had to go down to Bethlehem to be registered for a census. Because there were so many people in Bethlehem, there wasn't room for Mary and Joseph at the lodging place. Instead, Jesus was born in a place with an animal manger or a feeding trough for animals to eat out of. Oh, wow. Jesus, our Savior, was born in Bethlehem and laid in a manger. But I still don't understand why such a great king would be born in such a lowly and humble place. <gasps> I got an idea. What if we try and recreate the scene? Maybe it's more majestic, more royal than we think it is. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, first, we need a barn. 
Okay, so we don't know for sure that Jesus was born in a barn. He might have been born like in a cave where animals were kept safe. But what we do know is that when he was born, he was laid in a manger. So it is highly likely that there were animals around. I wonder if there are animals in that barn. I don't know, but why don't you come with me and we'll go find out. Come on. Hey, look, a donkey. We are getting closer. But we also need one more very important thing. Last, but certainly not least, a manger or an animal feed trough. Now, we're starting to get a lot of the things that might have been around when Jesus was born. But, 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 it doesn't feel kingly yet. You know what I mean? Majestic? <gasps> I know. What if we decorated the manger? Give me just a second. <sighs> How about that? Is that better? All right, here we've got uh, some blankets for the baby, some decorations, got some toys. And to represent the baby, we've got my friend, Herman the Hippo. Okay, so maybe he doesn't look like a hippo, all right? He's different, okay? Don't be judgmental. But there's still something that doesn't feel kingly yet. Does this feel like a place prepared for a king? When Jesus was born, angels appeared to shepherds who were watching their flocks in the fields and told the shepherds about Jesus. The angels filled the skies and sang praises to God. The shepherds came and found Jesus wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. The shepherds went out and told everyone they could about what they had seen and experienced. The king had come. From the majesty of heaven, Jesus came down to us. He came down to us to rescue us and make us a part of God's forever family. Oh, now I see. While Jesus was indeed the king of kings, he laid down his riches and his glory to come and rescue us. He was born into a humble family. He was born in the lowest places you could be. Why? Because we were in the lowest places of sin and death. Jesus came to the lowest place to rescue us by giving us forgiveness of sins and eternal life when we repent and believe in him. Now I get it. <laughs> Now I see why these are so special. These humble nativity scenes remind us that Jesus, the King of all kings, stepped down into our broken world to rescue us. And even when we see the dirty animal food covered manger, it's so beautiful and it's so special because it held our savior. So the next time you see a nativity scene, you can be reminded that Jesus came to rescue us. That is the greatest news ever. That is the greatest gift ever. And that's what we discover when we dig into the book of Matthew. I'm Joel. This is Explore the Bible on Location. And I need to get back to decorating the tree before Grandma Ding Bang covers the whole tree in string cheese. I'll see you next time. Grandma. Okay guys, and now let's go over our memory verse for this month, with the, which is John 1, 14. And it says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. We observed his glory as the glory of the one and only son of the father, full of grace and truth. Thanks for joining us today, First Kids. We'll see you next week. And remember, it's pancakes, PJs, and praise. So wear your PJs to church. Bye, First Kids.